Canberra. Although you're gonna hear from some people that there's absolutely nothing to do in Canberra, it's a pretty decent place to live in. One thing to really note about this place though is how it's leading Australia in the fight against climate change. This year, Canberra became the first city in the Southern Hemisphere to be powered by 100% renewable electricity. Canberra also has the fastest growth rate of renewable energy jobs in Australia. Overall, we should be pretty proud to live in such a forward-thinking city. But there is still more to be done in order to reach our goal of zero emissions by 2050. Now that we are powered by 100% renewable ele electricity, there is one source that is responsible for 60% of our emissions, transport. To take another step, we need to revolutionize the way in which we move people and things. One of the challenges that must be overcome is emissions from public transport. Here in Canberra, sorry, one of the challenges that must be overcome is emissions from public transport. Most of our buses run on diesel, and it's not uncommon to see them with zero passengers running their routes. One way we can revolutionize this is by changing them to be completely run on electricity. So there's already talk of doing this by 2040, but if we want to make substantial changes to our climate, we need to take action now. Another issue is the overuse of privately owned cars. It's part of the culture here in Canberra to drive ourselves around everywhere we go. In fact, it is estimated that there is an average of 1.8 cars per Canberran household. We will take a big step if we can break this habit and use our vehicles more efficiently. This is where Cozy comes in, the government-supported electric ride-hailing service. Services such as Uber have seen a surge in popularity in Canberra over the past decade. So wouldn't it be great to use something similar knowing you're taking the best course of action for the planet? With Cozy, users would simply be able to use an app to pick a destination and alert drivers to where they are, like other services. The key difference is that they will get an environmentally friendly trip within the next few minutes with the fleet of completely electric vehicles. Other Cozy features will include the option to carpool with other passengers for a cheaper fare and to further reduce energy consumption. If possible, it would also be great to form partnerships with other like-minded companies that offer green services. With these partnerships, ways to further incentivize riding with the service could be implemented. For example, we could start a point system that gives users points every time they ride with us. They could then redeem those points for discounts on things such as, let's say, the installation of solar panels or electricity bills, depending on who we work with. Now, it goes without saying that the benefits of Cozy include a significant reduction in carbon emissions as well as ease of mind for passengers. However, the benefits of Cozy don't just include riders and the environment, but also the government. So the use of this tool should earn enough money over time and save enough money through uh, saving money on public infrastructure to justify the hefty startup and the running costs. So a study in Seattle um, found an 11% decrease in single passenger car trips over time when a commute trip reduction ordinance scheme was added. Furthermore, if we can use ride sharing services, um, it will decrease the need for public parking as drivers can simply drop riders right off of their uh, destination instead of having to park somewhere and stay there. So now brings the question, what are some of the risks with the company? Well, most of them will be prevalent in the early stages, and this includes finding drivers and users. So how can we mitigate these? Well, the point system and our advertising campaigns are, are designed to bring in more users. And when it comes to finding enough drivers, we think if we can implement this service soon, it will be a great way to energize employment after COVID-19. Canberra is leading the fight against climate change in Australia. One step at a time, we are moving towards zero emissions. So why don't we take the next step now? We think it's about time we cozy up Canberra.